Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. So in this one, we're going over this uh, quote unquote jump scare legion build and this is a build request that i got from a viewer of mine so i'm not taking credit for this i didn't come up with this but i do want to showcase it because it's really cool um you run stylish sunglasses and etched ruler this one stylish sunglasses allows you to see the auras of survivors who are mending within a 24 meter radius and etched ruler when you hit someone with a feral slash they're inflicted with oblivious for 60 seconds a whole last minute which is Incredible when you compare it to other add-ons, not even just for Legion, but other Oblivious add-ons for other killers. Uh, but I digress. Anyways, you run it on a indoor map, aka Larry's Memorial Institute. Uh, you could do RPD or Midwitch, but I think Larry's is the best map. And uh, your perks don't really matter. I think you could run practically anything. You could go with stealth perks, gen slow perks, whatever you want. The main focus is the add-ons, though. Basically, with this, you're able to get people to mend, they're oblivious, you can see them, you walk up, and you get free hits. And that's it. So, hope you enjoy the game. Yo, peep the knife, chat. 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 God, this, bro, what is this? <laughs> Prime skins are not worth, dude, they used to be, you used to get whole ass skins. We got that- oh shit, we got that Blight skin? Um... What else was there? Hattie got a whole skin? Like, they used to put out whole entire skins, now it's a fucking weapon like this, or Trickster's Knife, or they just give you blood points. Or a charm. Like, what, what, what happened? They even just re-released a skin that was already in the game, for one of them. That- that, uh, that Plague skin. Ooh, potential energy though, gaming. Oh, this is fantastic. Come on, Frenzy, please. Frenzy, Frenzy, Frenzy. There we go. Where's that Fang? If I can hit her, she'll lose her, uh, her potential. Ah, uh, she's running away. This guy is oblivious and doesn't know I am behind him. Hi. Oh yeah, true, the artist skins. There was two of them. You got two skins. Granted, it was a, a recolor, but... Wait, why did he scream like that? That was like the death scream. Oh, he's face the darkness. Because he's oblivious. Right, right, right. Once again. Hi. Dude, this build's dirty. This build is dirty. You just walk up to people. What up, Crip? Thanks, man. Uh, I'm doing alright. Hope you are too. Brother, we are vibing. Giving people heart attacks on Larry's currently. What's up, guys? Who's this? They didn't go upstairs, did they? Uh. They must have juked me. They juked me. Had to have. Bro, having potential energy against a Legion is like the worst killer to have this perk on. Uh, against. Alright, so we'll leave her. She'll have to go mend. Oh, I'm swinging through. Think I'm scared, bro? I was gonna ask if they if they fixed the lightborn bug, but I just remembered they didn't actually put it in the patch notes. So I guess that's still a thing. Okay, you got. I can't see it right now, of course, but yo, nice, nice. Yo, damn right, Reaper. Gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta do what you gotta do to win. Oh, so she's still oblivious. Hell yeah. Big boy lunge. I'm just picking. Fuck it. Okay. Think it was with Unreal? No. I had it happen on other killers. 
Happened with Myers, I think Artist. Jesus Christ, these guys right now. <laughs> this build is honestly, I think this build is one of the most effective, like, map offering base killer builds that you can do. Just solely based off of these two add ons. Especially Etch Ruler. A full minute of obliviousness with how easy it is to get hits as Legion is, like, actually crazy. Like, in comparison to other killers, you have... Oh, that was him on the hook. With Nemesis, you got, like, the, the purple Parasite add-on, and that's a minute of obliviousness, but keep in mind, it's a purple, and it's when they get first initially infected, which can only happen a limited amount of times. Because once they vaccinate, you know, eventually they'll run out, and then you can't get value. Whereas this... Infinite amount of times I can hit people, obviously. Oh, fuck, I feel like I missed that. And then this man is oblivious again for a whole minute. Another whole minute. This man's oblivious. That's unfortunate. Hello. Why did she dead herd? What? <laughs> Didn't she just get off the hook? It wasn't Ada down there. Uh, Fang? That's really just like Bullhorn. Uh, yeah, but better, really. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Bullhorn's only 30 seconds. If I remember correctly. And it's when they become fully infected. As well, if I remember correctly. Whereas this has just hit people, so it's more oblivious duration, and it's way easier to activate. Nice. Oh, it's when you use a spray? Oh. Well, still, 30 seconds. And it's limited. This isn't. Well, I mean, Smokio, dude, this build is cracked. I mean, there's not much to there's not much to, to play in Killer when you can just walk up to people on, a, on an indoor map and just hit them for free. Like, I played this game, or I played this build against, um, one of the last times we did this build request, we had a group of, like, three legacy players who were all really good, but, I mean, every encounter I had with them was like it was this game. Walk up to them around a corner, they're completely oblivious, they just go down. And if they kept healing, they'd be wasting all their time, I mean, there's just like, like, what do you do against this? These two add-ons on Larry's is, like I said, I think one of the strongest build one of the strongest builds that you can make based around a map and this is why you think map offerings are like this is a this this build is a prime example as to why I think map offerings should not be in the game because this gives me a fucking insane advantage an insane advantage just right off the bat and Blaine I'm not trashing on you whatsoever I'm just I'm just using this build as an example like this build on this map versus any regular map I have like a, a hundred times better chance of killing these guys if I'm on Larry's very nice Jen's regressing yeah yeah I agree Reaper like that, the, the, the new feature, yeah, you won't get the same map repeatedly. Like, alright, cool. Cool feature. But then, yeah, why not just remove map offerings? And then... And then have that system in place? And then it'll actually work. Because I'm pretty sure, when it comes to that system, if you have it set up where you can't get the same map repeatedly, but if a map offering's played, I think you'll still go to the map. I don't think it will, like, not allow you to play with the same people. I think it would still just override that, and you still will go to the same map. So then at that point, why not just remove the map offerings? Compensate everyone for blood points, give them all a shitload of blood points for the map offerings that they have on their account. 
remove the map offerings and then go through with the the system where you can't get the same map twice two times in a row and I think that would be perfect don't have to play the same map don't have to deal with obnoxious builds like this everyone's happy everyone gets blood points um because I mean dude nine times out of ten when you see when you see a map offering whether it's a killer or a survivor that person is trying to either give the other side a shit time or they have a build premeditated for that map, just like I'm doing right now. Make map offerings a map ban item. See, we've talked about this too. I just think they shouldn't exist. That would be kind of cool, but better than that, I think just removing them would be the play. Just no map offerings. Get rid of them. And then, yeah, also remove the tome challenges that are like fall from a great height this many times. So then everyone runs an Local asylum offer to get a main building or, you know, whatnot. Grimsley, thanks for the sub, man. Six months. Welcome back. Well, Feng. Is she even trying? She either played her cards correctly and she's got a 20% strat. Yep, here she is. She's gonna barely make it. Oh my god, wow, man. Yeah, I mean, with those gate spawns and no tracking perks, there's no way I'm gonna fight her. Well played. Also, yeah, true, that's another thing, discount uh, follower. A lot of people DC do the map offerings. I mean, fuck, last night I tried to play that uh, RPD game for a builder quest three games in a row we never loaded in because someone saw the RPD offering and they left yeah I don't know about that one chief okay okay nice bro I just want to do the stealth nemesis game welcome back dude they DC'd again all right you know what I don't know if we can do this anymore I think we need to move on this is the third fucking game man I just want to play the game 